so far, hope we are well. Forgive my voice. I'm, <laughs> I'm struggling with it. It's still recovering, but we can do this. How are you guys doing? I trust everyone is doing very well. So today we're going to be talking about the publication by the UK Home Office, a guidance for student sponsors and students, which was released on the 25th of February 2022 as a compliance update due to COVID-19 restrictions and adjustments, which has caused them to release this publication so student sponsors and sponsors can know how to carry on going forward. Part of this update is a news some have considered that interesting or should I say majority think this is interesting but I have certain things against it I hold some reservations to this particular update and what is this update It's the one that students can now work for more than 20 hours a week so many persons think oh my god this is wonderful especially those who've been wondering how to come study in the UK and still be able to handle tuition accommodation every other responsibility you need to do for yourself as an adult a lot of people prospective students you know international students those who are yet coming to the UK think this will be a wonderful opportunity to raise money now we are going to be breaking it down today all of the clause all of the attachments every bit and pieces that you need to understand before you know if this is a wonderful <laughs> if it's a wonderful opportunity or if it's something you have to take with a pinch of salt or you know sit back check it balance it and know if it's something you want to embrace with your full chest in a nutshell there is a provision that students can work for more than 20 hours as a matter of fact likely full time while studying in the uk while that's the most popular news there's still other important updates added in this publication which will definitely benefit you or anyone you know who is intending to study in the uk this present season as this update is given to adjust by the home office whenever they decide in time to come so for today's video we are going to be covering four important topics adjusted in this publication the first one being distance learning validity of cars which have already been issued working hours and graduate routes now for distant learning distant learning is kind of learning that does not involve the student being physically present in class essentially it can happen remotely it does not involve any face-to-face -face teaching so some students gain admission with schools and remain you know in their given country wherever it is and most of their studies the activities happen online now this present distance learning in this publication gives allowance for students who are not able to return to the UK due to COVID restrictions so they can stay wherever it is maybe in their home country or wherever and still study online but the clause attached to it is they have to return to the UK this allowance has been stretched and given up until the 30th of June 2022 so what this means in essence is whatever excuse due to COVID and stuff a student has taken to be outside the country studying remotely probably in their home country should end before the 30th of June in order to retain the sponsorship by their university this student is expected to go through this transitional process of coming back to the UK either to continue face-to-face -face, um, learning or blended learning the one that will involve the student partially attending face-to-face -face classes and studying online from the comfort of probably their hostel or their residence here in the UK. I, for example, currently a research student. I'm doing the blended learning. Most times I get to meet up with my supervisor via Zoom. I and fellow research students in my academic year. Then when necessary, our program leader or supervisor will have to schedule a meeting for us to come to attend school. I'm going to be attending one um, by next week and meeting with supervisors especially for help and assistance is usually seven times you have seven times to meet with your supervisor the supervisor can decide to schedule a one-on-one -on -one, you know face-to-face -face meeting or online as we've been doing it yeah now for the validity of CAS that has already been issued CAS being the confirmation of acceptance of study where a CAS was issued between 24th of January and 31st of December student and child student application 
modification can still be made using the cars that were previously issued now essentially what this is saying is let's say you're in a, your home country and you've made this application to study in the UK between late 2019 2020 to study in the UK and you had conversation and negotiation with the school you know all of the requirements and stuff and you got issued cars between the 24th of January and the 31st of December 2020 but due to the COVID and that was around the heat of the pandemic right due to um, COVID restrictions and stuff you were not able to utilize the cars issued to you then in 2020 now this is 2022 the government in this new update is saying you can still make use of that same cars provided that issued cars has not been used due to the issues surrounding the pandemic and travel restrictions then you can still make a visa application with the expired cars yeah they're saying they're going to give consideration due to these circumstances beyond the student's control and you already know that in the cars has been stipulated your expected course start date normally you're supposed to make an application before your course starts here in the uk and you should be able to travel three weeks before your course starts but now even if your course start date has passed you can still use that same previously issued cars to make a new application to commence your studies here in the uk i'm moving on to what working hours now before I say the things I have to say about the working hours the unlimited working hours first of all let us talk about the people who are eligible to work extremely <laughs> to work without boundaries in the allowance given in this publication according to this publication students who have been employed directly by NHS so not any other place not private agents or privately owned care homes or something it has to be the National Health Service. You have to be an employee of the UK NHS in order to qualify for this unlimited bundle. Okay, now here is the list. If you are a biochemist, a biological scientist, a dental practitioner, a health professional, a medical practitioner, a medical radiographer, a midwife, a nurse, an occupational therapist, an ophthalmologist, a paramedic, that's those ones who work with ambulance and stuff, a pharmacist, I'm sure those who fall under this category know themselves, so we'll not need to break it down much, a pharmacist, a physiotherapist, a psychologist, a social worker, a speech and language therapist, a therapy professional. So if you fall under any of these 18 professions listed here, you are allowed as a student to work unlimitedly work more than 20 hours during and often time but wait now pay attention to this part there are other clauses unpopular clauses in this publication that people are not aware of now it's not just those who are in these professions allowed to work for more than 20 hours even people studying other courses any any other course name it think about it you can also work more than 20 hours given this publication but do you know where the clause is? That will only be if your school has, or if the student's school has suspended all studies due to the outbreak of the pandemic. So if currently you are not attending classes, currently you are not studying because your school has told you, you know what? Studies are going to be paused for now till further notice. You are considered, you're going to be considered and seen by the home office as being on vacation. So no matter what course you're studying, even if it's not physiotherapy and stuff, you can still work full time. So in order not to get confused, verify with your school, go to your student center and ask them, are we in as much as we've been told to go back home and study from home and stuff, does study from home count as suspension? No, if you're studying from home, it does not count as suspension. It has to be strictly that your school has suspended studies. So if you're not very clear, if you're not exactly sure, verify from the student center what session or what period your school or what phase your school currently is facing. Okay, another one says, where a student sponsor is providing tuition to students in the UK by blended learning, their students will be considered to be within term time and will be limited to the term time working hours stated on their visa. In a nutshell, what this means, to the best of my understanding, is 
if you are a student who's been sponsored financially by your school that should be those who are on the scholarship or something school scholarship you will not be able to work unlimited in this unlimited bundle even if the school has suspended study period for you you'll still be considered to be within 10 times so you're not supposed to work more than 20 hours a week now come come, come close and hear this part we are consider the highest gas boost is uh, if you don't know what gas boost is where the knock off like where the knock off is is when that you have decided to work in this unlimited bundle work from now <laughs> to next year work and don't sleep don't eat don't have your but like sleep in your work you are still expected to be studying as much as your study requires as much as your academic portfolio academic session your admission requires you to study so the fact that you are now working for the you're working with the nhs you're working full-time is not an excuse for you not to continue with your studies so the home office is like hey you're on your own <laughs> you still have to study you still have to pass your exams you still have to do all what you have all of your due diligence that has to do with your studies here in the uk this is where you want to ask yourself my brother my sister are you sure you want to embark on this unlimited bump <laughs> forgive me are you sure it's a wise decision to embark on this unlimited work bundle think about it I don't think we need to go into deep, 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 like dive into the details of how cumbersome, how tasking, how brain demanding it is to study here in the UK and combining all the distance we mentioned here. So you, you'll be the judge of that case. Think about it yourself. Also, in as much as you have decided to work unlimitedly, you cannot think you're now a worker. You are still on a student visa. You're still on the student route. You cannot now change to working full-time as a working professional. In order to be considered a working professional now, you have to be on one of the work visas, either the skilled worker visa or the scale-up. Speaking of scale-up, if you've not seen the video, I have a full detailed video on what the scale-up is about we're still waiting for the arrival and the launching of the scale up visa which is another work route visa now for the graduate route the graduate route which was launched on the 1st of july 2021 in a nutshell the one that qualifies you for the post study work visa right say you are currently now you know distant learning you're now in a distant learning situation due to covid restrictions that kept you probably back in your home country or wherever it is you are outside of the uk you can still make that um graduate route transition to coming back to the uk to get onto the graduate route that permits you to get that two years for study work visa and of course there are conditions and requirements you know to scale you through what are they you should have successfully completed an eligible course at a higher education provider with a track record of compliance apparently what this means is you should have passed and completed all of your coursework with school evidence of course that you have participated fully in completing your course and then you should have an existing permission for that course as a student at the point of application and make your application in the uk simply put you should have your confirmation of acceptance to study all that is required of you from the registration to the point of completing that course to be an eligible students of the school and of that course and you should make that post-study visa application here in the UK now this publication also gave room for students who haven't even been to the UK at all who haven't come in at all but have been in distant learning you can still get onto the graduate route provided you make an application make a student a study visa application whilst you're doing your distant learning in your home country especially if if you want to qualify for the two years post study visa so even if you've never been to the uk you're studying online from whichever country you you know you reside make a study visa application with your university being your sponsor and coming to the uk to qualify you for the post study work visa this particular information will be particularly useful for students who are currently studying very distant learning to make an application and get into the uk on or before the 30th of june 
2022 and sure to go through this um home office publication i'm going to give leave the links down in the description so you can see you know the timing and the duration for your course if your course is a 12 month course you know whatever clause attached to it if you started in spring of 2021 what clause attached to it and if your course is still running up until now to be able to make this application to come into the uk and complete your course on or before the 30th of June 2022. So the section 3, 23 to 27 covers in details the distant learning and all of the possibilities for you to transition from distant learning to blended learning back in the UK that can enable one get onto the graduate route of the two years study work visa. Do not forget the end date for transition is the 30th of June 2022. That's april may june that's just two months from now no time all right guys i hope you found this helpful let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section and i'll catch you just in the next one <laughs> bye bye